In this video, I will show you a Forex strategy that I use in my trading to help me be consistently profitable. So stick around till the end of the video and see how you could apply this simple technique in your trading. Please also subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate your support and it helps me grow it. Imagine a price chart without any history. We won't have anything to go by as a technical analyst to help us decide whether to buy or whether to sell. All traders, no matter what their style or strategy, need to see some historical data on the chart to help make this decision. Some price action traders only need one candlestick to confirm their entries. For example, they would need to see a pin bar or a hammerhead or a doji. Other traders needs further confirmation or confluence, which means the candlestick shapes needs to appear at a significant area on the chart. Like for example, a support or a resistance zone or demand or supply zone. So no trading until the pin head or hammer head appears at a resistance or a support level. Other traders needs price action to occur at a specific Fibonacci number or a moving average. Many traders, Take the signals only when an oscillator like an RSI or a stochastic indicator shows that prices has now become overbought or oversold. And finally, let's not forget about pattern traders who only take action after they see double tops or double bottoms or head or shoulder patterns. But you get what I mean, different zones or different levels on the chart are important depending on the type of trader we are dealing with. So when prices get back to a level where traders deem as important, their actions at these levels are fairly obvious. Either they would buy at the level or sell at the level based on their strategies. Let me show you a strategy that you can use at these levels to improve your chances of winning. Also check out my video on liquidity that will be linked above and in the description below and this will help you um, solidify the following concepts. Now let's head over to the charts. Let me show you a neat little trick that I use at levels in the market to add some edge when I am trading off these level. So the first step with this strategy is firstly to identify the market state that we are trading in. So whether we be in a downtrend like here or an uptrend or whether the market be stuck in a triangle or stuck inside a tight little range, it doesn't really matter. What matters is that we've identified the market state in which we are trading before pulling the trigger. Let's take a closer look at this range. We've identified the range because prices has come up to a level of resistance and it was unable to follow through. So prices are unable to follow through from this point. Then prices comes down, touches the support level and again unable to follow through. So this becomes a barrier. Prices goes up back on the level, back to the barrier, unable to follow through, comes back down. And that's back to the support level again, unable to follow through. And as soon as we have at least one, two, three, four touches here, then anything to the right of this is now fair play and we can call this a valid range. So once we have identified the range or the trend, like in this case, we have a range. The next step with the strategy is to identify three types of traders actively inside the market. Three types of traders are level traders. That's the first type of trader. The second one is your breakout trader. And then the third type of trader is your retracement trader. So we've identified this as a range now and we have is our level trader. So the level trader watches this level here the level has been identified in this case because we have a qualified range. So the level trader watches the level and they would act immediately off of the level without further confluence. So prices comes up to the level and they would immediately sell. No further confirmation needed. So it's a very aggressive style of trading. So they would sell immediately as prices gets up to the level. So let's take a closer look at this one. So now watch the level closely. 
prices comes up touches the level so now we are waiting on our level traders to place their sell orders so as soon as their sell orders are in the market we can assume that they have their stops placed just nice and neatly above these little areas here so they would sell here immediately based on the level place their stops in that in that area now the second type of trader that we are looking for is our breakout traders our breakout traders would buy somewhere here waiting for prices to break through the level so they would have their buy stop orders in this area and then as the buy as the buys comes in it would take out the stop losses placed here and also the breakout traders would place their stop losses now in that area so we have two different areas where we would place stop losses so let's watch again so we're watching the level we're waiting for prices to break through but as we're waiting we see some more level traders at the level and there we get our breakout traders now as soon as our breakout traders are in the market we will take our Fibonacci tool and measure the distance from the low to the high because our next step now is to try and find where our retracement traders are coming from so we would need to watch the retracement 23.6 or 38.2 50 percent or all the way down to 78.6 so our retracement traders are now looking for a better price to get in the market so that they can continue that long you see, they've missed the opportunity here. They've missed the breakout trader. The breakout trader was much more aggressive. So the retracement trader is looking for further confluence now to get into the trade. They are hoping for the breakout, retracement, and then a follow through. This is the sort of pattern the retracement trader is looking for. So we're watching where we're going to get some retracement traders so it looks like we're getting it at the 23.6 level so as soon as we get some retracement traders in the market we can become now very anxious to start looking for our entry so let me zoom in on this see if we can pull out our RSI tool because we are looking for an entry now you see we have all three of the traders playing inside the market based on the level let us just recap we have the level here and we have our level traders going short in this area here based on the level nothing else then we have our breakout traders place their trades here they buy limit orders and then our retracement trader they found some retracement traders at the 23.6 and now prices are making higher highs so we have higher highs here but the rsi is not doing the same so we have a divergent sort of a pattern happening on our rsi as prices are going higher so as soon as we can confirm the rsi divergence after all of the traders are inside the market trading actively then what we can do now we can place our sell stop orders around about in that area and also our stop losses are placed just neatly above the area here and then our targets are one is to one or two is to one depending on your money management strategy so let's see what happens to this trade so prices are coming down and finally we get triggered in and then if you are a scalper you would probably take some profits at this area but it all depends on your strategy and your money management technique on what you do at these levels but anything below this area here is really a sell let's see what happens a little bit later so this is where psychology also plays a role because in this area prices has been going up against a little bit against you so watch out for that thanks very much for watching guys